Hey there folks, it's Antar and I've got a battle for you today against Angel's Disgrace. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with El Kabong, my Roserade, as my opponent leads off with Skarmory. I'm going to go ahead and put to sleep because, you know, Skarmory don't want to brave birding me, I know I'm faster, and now I don't have anything to fear, at least for a few turns. Uh, out switches Latios, and, you know, they often carry the Hidden Power Fire. Uh, this guy actually runs the Psy Shock, which I was not expecting. That's going to take, take me down to my Focus Sash, but that's okay. I've gotten off my two layers of Toxic Spike, so I've put a Pokemon to sleep. It's all good. I'm going to call back El Kabong, send out Mick, because Mick should be able to wall him. Uh, Psy Shock is blocked, and I'm thinking he, I was thinking he might be a choice set, but turns out he's not. I'm uh, going to go ahead and use Wish. His Dragon Pulses are really not doing much to me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Payback here, which should do a hefty chunk to him. Indeed, it's going to be a solid 2-hit KO, and I'm really not going to have to fear too much from that Latios. Uh, Latios, rather. Uh, Thunder amazingly hits, but it does not really do very much to me. Would have been better off with Dragon Pulse, I believe. Anyway, now he sends out his own Umbreon. I'm like, that's great, because I got it poisoned. So, then again, it could be running Heal Bell, I figure, so maybe uh, you know, I shouldn't jump to any conclusions. I've, I'm back up to full health. Um, my opponent is poisoned. I'm going to go ahead and swap out here and go ahead and send out Uchikoma. I don't actually think I have anyone on this team who has either a super effective uh, fighting type or a, a bug type move. Maybe I should run one. I don't know. Anyway, uh, poison is going to uh, do more and more each turn. I go for the meteor match as my opponent goes for crush, and then it shows he shows me that he's a resto curse set. And so I see it's not a Resto Chesto curse set, uh, and so I'm thinking this is actually kind of interesting. My opponent's going to go for Sleep Talk. Uh, it selects Rest that turn, but I see how the hell am I going to destroy this thing because um, it's no longer Poison. He keeps on uh, getting his stats up higher with Curse. Um, I'm not getting my attack boosted any, so I'm going to go ahead and send out Ringo, who's a special attacker. Uh, he's going to go for the Curse this turn. I'm going to just go ahead and taunt to prevent him from going back to sleep or from setting up more Curses and just figure maybe that'll put an end to his sweeping. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I blocked the Curse and that's great. And so now I'm going to go ahead and go for the Surf and just hope it does a decent amount of damage. It doesn't. It does actually practically nothing. And that Payback is going to be a solid 2-hit KO. Uh, Ringo is completely outclassed here. And I just am not sure what I'm going to do. I go for the Recover. I don't know why. I could. I don't. I thought I could survive one more hit. But it turns out that I absolutely cannot. And I'm taken out. No crit or anything. Ringo is down. And so I'm just like, how am I going to kill this Umbreon? I mean... My own Umbreon doesn't do this kind of stuff anymore. He it did back in Gen 4, but I'm going to go for the um, uh, the Heat Wave here, hoping to get the Burn Hacks. But that's actually really stupid on my part, because if I actually get the Burn Hacks, he can just sleep it off anyway. I'm going to get burned. I would probably be better off going for the T-Bolt, hoping for a crit, I guess. I don't know. Really, there's one thing that I should be doing, and I need to remember this for the future. My best counter for Umbreon, and I've known this because I've seen this in the past, this has happened to me in the past, my best counter for Umbreon is in fact my own Umbreon, because I can actually usually outstall it with Wish, Curse, etc. And you know, it does resist his payback, and he's, he's not running any status moves, so he can't really do anything to me. But yeah, I'm just getting completely walled, and getting completely devastated by this Umbreon when I really, really don't have to, and in fact, I should know better by this point. I'm actually just hoping to stall him out with my Zapdos here. Um, but he's going to keep on cursing. Really, it would help if I had a phaser. I'm actually thinking about um, putting Roar on my Zapdos. That might not be the worst idea because it is a fairly bulky Zapdos, and that would just help me so much when I go up against Pokemon uh, opponents who do this kind of ridiculous stuff. So I go ahead and go for another uh, Heat Wave again. It would be a really bad idea to have this guy burn because he can just sleep it off. I don't know what I was doing. This must have been really some kind of awful brain fart. Yes, this uh, sleep, uh, sleep talk selects payback, and that's going to do a hefty chunk to me. And I'm just hoping that I can, again, I'm just hoping that I can stall him out. That's my only hope at this point, but thanks to the fact that he is using rest sleep talk, it's going to be considerably longer for me to actually stall him out. So he goes for rests, um, again that's blocked, and that's okay, and so I'm just really hoping that my opponent actually will give up at some point and switch out, uh, seeing that I wall him. He wakes up, goes for the payback, and that's going to hurt a whole hell of a lot, and uh, I survive with 43 HP, 66 after leftovers, 
Um, but there's really not much I can do to him. I go for the heat wave here, not sure why I didn't just go for the roost. Um, I, but maybe I could have followed him out at least for a little bit longer, but I am taken out at this point. I don't, and now here I go ahead and send out uh, my Umbreon. I don't know why I didn't do this ten turns ago. So now my opponent's gonna go for the payback. It's actually not gonna do that much. It's not even gonna be a two-hit KO, and I can get off some curses, and I can actually get to his level probably fairly quickly. So, again, this is what I should have done from the start, and it's, it really cost me a lot that I didn't. So I'm just going to go ahead and recover back up to 330, thanks to that wish, and I'm just going to go for another wish the next turn. My opponent gets bored and sends out Ter uh, Terrakion, and I haven't gotten off enough curses that I think I can survive anything from this Terrakion, so I'm going to go ahead and swap out. Go ahead and send out El Kabanga's Death Fodder. He goes ahead and goes with the close combat. It's going to lower his defenses, which is going to be nice. Uh, but then again, I'm not actually sure what I have that's faster than a Terrakion. I go ahead and send out Uchikoma thinking I can pretty much resist anything and I can go for the agility. I'm, uh, my opponent uh, realizes this and I, as I go for the agility, switches out into Sleeping Skarmory. I'm going to go ahead and call back here and go out into Leela, my Darmanitan, knowing that a Flare Blitz can probably 2-hit KO this guy because he probably has Sturdy intact. Turns out, it, yeah, it does get him down to his Sturdy. Uh, really, maybe I should have gone for a different move, I don't know. Anyway, he decides to set up spikes this turn. And that's really not going to be great, but it's really not the worst thing he could have done to me. Go for another Flare Blitz, and that is going to take out his Skarmory, and that is great. Um, and Lila's not doing too bad, so I'm going to go ahead and swap out Lila at this point, send out uh, Uchikoma, because I think I can probably wall this guy. He goes for the close combat, it's going to break my balloon, and uh, I'm just hoping that he's scarfed, although that actually that, that did so much damage that it doesn't matter whether he's scarfed or not, he's going to take me out on the next turn. So if I'd had Bullet Punch, I could have taken him out, maybe, but as it stands, I just get screwed over. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and send out Lila, uh, unless he, you know, he's going to outspeed me, take out my Darmanitan, and that's going to be that. And I'm pretty sure this is the end of the battle, because the only Pokemon I have left is my Umbreon, and I can't, I was hoping maybe I could Poison Stall him out, it's not the case. I really wish I still had my Jellicent. I really should not have let my Jellicent die so early. But oh well, this was an awful, awful battle, folks. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge!